Hi there, we've had a bit of Warriors news this week. The most interesting is that someone got the Scourge plush early. The Series 4 plushies haven't been officially announced yet, but the official Warriors Instagram teased a Scourge plush a few weeks ago. This week, Instagram user Leader of the Clans made a post explaining that they'd ordered Cinderpelt, but they ended up getting Scourge instead. Their pictures give us a better look at what his plush looks like. Fans wondered if they'd come up with a new Blood Clan symbol, but it looks like they didn't. His collar is removable, and there's also a picture of the inside of the tag. It's not clear how they mix things up enough to send out a plush that hasn't even been announced yet, but it definitely makes for an interesting story. Speaking of plushies, Leafpool, Cinderpelt, and Ivypool have been restocked in the U.S. store, so if you miss them, now's your chance. At the time of writing this, just the bundle containing all three are available. Graphic novel illustrator James Berry also updated his Etsy shop to add three of his original hand-drawn pages, if you're interested in a rarer Warriors collectible. And lastly, WarriorCats.com got a few minor updates this week. Last week I had mentioned that they removed the reaction feature, but this week they've added it back. So if you're like me, now you can add an angry React to the Frecklewitch article. Three new articles have also been added to the site. Two are countdowns of scenes, as voted on by fans. One is about iconic deaths in the series, while one is about Firestar's best moments. The third, Death in the World of Warriors, discusses how the story team decides which cats die. So that's the news for this week. Links to the things I discussed are in the video description. I'm liking the look of the Scourge plush so far. What did you think of this week's news?